good morning we're standing in beautiful Oradia the place I grew up in and uh, it is a gorgeous morning behind me you'll see the statue of uh, Mary who used to reign in Romania 1875 to 1938 I was never good in history I had to look up <laughs> and on the other side you see the National Theater and I used to see a lot of uh, plays there and shows uh, it's, it's unfortunate it's closed uh, but it's a beautiful place you see the architecture is uh, absolutely breathtaking um, so enjoy oh one more thing on that uh, corner that's Hotel Astoria that's where we're staying we have some amazing shots of the uh, inside but that is also a place that was built in 1902 so the hotel is actually 121 years old fabulous and, and we're, we're in on that the corner suite we're on the second floor we have the corner suite yeah just above where it says luxury restaurant yes that is amazing. welcome to second wind adventures where we start the next chapter in our life where retirement can be fun exciting and challenging follow along with us as we continue to transition from our regular full-time work life to a more flexible lifestyle that includes cottage living adventure travel and our dream to circumnavigate the globe on the sailing catamaran this is us, Alina and Monty. We would love if you joined us so that we could share with you the trials of achieving our goals. We're in the oh-so-huge Kluge International Airport in the afternoon. Look at how busy it is. I was born here. Well, not in the airport, in this <laughs> city. Okay, we're now in our rental car. It is a Turbo Yaris, Toyota Yaris. <laughs> and it's got a CVT. At least this time I've got an automatic, so I'm not screwing around with uh, with the stick, but um, you know, like gutless is every other rental car we've had. It's very small, barely got all our bags in the back. And now we're driving through the suburbs of Cluj, Romania, on our way to Oradia. And where why is this place important? This place is important is because uh, this is where uh, the vampire mistress was born right in this town. Correct. That's right. And we are driving in Cluj. Oradia is one of the most beautiful cities in Eastern Europe. As you'll see, it's known for its unique Baroque and Art Nouveau architecture. This is an architectural style called Secession, brought to the region in the 1600s by Austrian engineer Franz Hillebrand. First documented in 1113, the city was administered at various times by the Ottoman Empire. By the 13th century, the city was part of the Hungarian Empire. And following, in 1692, it was controlled by the Austrians. And during the Cold War, Romania was part of the Eastern Bloc, and it was administered by the Soviet Union. And it wasn't until the Romanian Revolution in 1989 that communism fell and Romania became a free democratic society. Hey, Lena. This is Astoria Hotel. It is really old. I think it's amazing. Take a look at the Field stairs. Architecture. Yes. Down, up. Well, let's check out the room. Wow. So we decided not to book the Hilton and pick a old historic okay. hotel right in town in the square in Oradia. I think it's this is very old furniture. So this is our room. Bathroom. It's actually quite the new. It's been modernized. It's been know. modernized, so the bathroom looks actually very nice, very modern. Glass shower. Yeah. A whole bit. Very nice. Very nice. Very old-fashioned bedroom. Mm -hmm. And this nice. one again, it's like... And here is I'm our sitting area. Into... Yes. yes very... What's amazing is that we got this room for three nights 
for about $500 Canadian, which is, uh, I think when you compare it to like the Hilton oh. in Germany, which we just paid $300 a night for, for, one. for one night. Yeah. Um, and this has character, you have to admit. This yeah. is so different. And if you think this is cool, wait till you see what's outside. Okay, so let's check out. Check out the outside. Check out the view. So we're Look right. Right in the center of the city. Old town, Oradia. Yeah, check it out. And what's that? Uh, Want to tell everyone what that is in the background there? Um, here is the theater, and um, it's an amazing building. Actually, when I was little, I attended a lot of shows, and I've seen a lot of shows here uh, and plays. It's beautiful. They've actually redone this entire area here. It wasn't like this before. I think this looks better and I think it's it's very nice that you let, you know, the pedestrian walk freely. Um, but it's in the night, it's kind of quiet, mm -hmm. so we'll see what it looks like on Monday. Mm -hmm. It's going to be all cool. busy. So we start the next morning in Oradia with a walk through the hotel and around the sites in the historic center of town. Although we are here in the fall, past the peak tourist season, we were amazed by the seemingly low number of people walking in the area. Oradia is a very safe and clean city with very friendly people, most of whom speak English. We also noted that this city of only about 184,000 people had all the modern stores, restaurants and cafes that would make anyone's stay here very comfortable and enjoyable. background um, the city hall and um, yeah What's pretty that? nice dangerous times don't fly too high be sure to keep the ground in sight fly forever if you keep it tight love the world but keep the sky on your mind as we make our way across the bridge, over the Krishu Repede River, we approach the other main square in town, called the Union Square, or Piazza Uniri. Again, more beautifully restored 17th century buildings surrounding the square. Okay. So, who's the dude in the horse? Uh, uh, the dude on the horse is King Ferdinand. Ferdinand. He ruled uh, Romania from 1917? Uh, 14. 14. 1914 to 1927. Sorry, I got my years wrong. That's because I'm reading the plaque. <laughs> and uh, he was um, actually known as the unifier and was married to Princess Maria, who later became Queen Mary of Romania. And uh, Queen Mary or Maria of Romania was actually the granddaughter of Queen Victoria. So there you go. Aren't you proud Not of really. my history? Churches and 
This is, you can see his name there. And this is one of the many churches in Romania. There is one right behind. You can just turn around and... So we're gonna see a lot of... There you go. And there's another statue of somebody else there. Another bronze another statue bronze and there's another, <laughs> another church. Yes, so many, so many. So many. This is a statue of some really tired looking person. What do you think? Yeah. Religious? Looks like a monk. Maybe. Okay, here we are with Alina's two aunts and uh, we're just having lunch on Republic Street at a cafe on the sidewalk called Cyrano. 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 Say hi. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we're just waiting for uh, we're just waiting for a few more people before uh, uh, we order lunch. Uh, in the meantime, we're having a beer. What do you got? Uh, I have tribe soup. Yeah. The, I've had tribe soup like 20 years ago. That was the last time I had that. Do this. Uh, let me show, show you the tribe. Oh, look at that. See? It's a tribe mm, soup. It used soup. to be my favorite mm. soup, actually. So try it. Do a Mike Wait, Mark that's Wien's not moment. really hot. I have to do the sour cream and the. Oh, there's a process yeah, to this whole process. Let me try it first. And I got. Uh, we eat crepes for lunch with uh, some kind of sauce. I couldn't understand the menu too well, so I'm not sure what that is. Yeah, it's good. Okay, good. Hey, so we're um, in, at the Oradia market. Mm. So this is a market. It used to be open way back when when I was here. This this is like within one minute walking distance from where I had my little apartment. So this is now the local farmer's market. So we're walking through your old neighborhood. Yeah, man. It's uh, interesting to say the least. It, it does bring back so many memories. Some good, some not so good. But uh, From the old communist regime oh, yeah. days. Yes, yes. So hey. Tell us about the house in the background there. I used to live there. That was my old home for many years when I lived in Oradia. I grew up here and this is the house that after my parents left, um, the communist uh, party decided they're gonna just take the house. They put me in that little one bedroom apartment and they basically took the house. And it was nothing I could do at that time. Yeah. After the regime changed, I actually got the house back and then my, my parents were able to uh, sell it and use the money uh, in Canada for them. But yeah, this is this is this was the house. Okay, what are you eating there? I don't know what's the English. It looks like a beaver tail. It's like a That's pancake. Soft. It's like a pancake. Mine has sour cabbage inside. Monty is having one with potatoes, uh, cheese, sour cream, and uh, garlic. Mm. It's good. Oh, that's so good. I said these things are called placinte. Placinte. <laughs> They're like... They're like... Pitas. Pitas, yeah. A little bit. They're stuffed pitas. A lot lighter, mm -hmm. yeah. Here's a collage of the different buildings around Noradia, both at night and during the day. It's so beautiful. So thanks for joining us here in Noradia. I hope if you come to this part of Europe, you stop in Romania and visit this marvelous city. I think that you will be pleasantly surprised by what you'll find here, and that it's a worthwhile place to visit. 
In our next episode, we will visit the White Castle or Fortress of Alba Ulia. And no, it's not a burger place you visit late at night after binging on drugs. <laughs> so don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss our upcoming episodes. See, See you, you next time. time.